Who is next? Who is next? Let me go ahead and get Tasha K out the way. Let me go ahead and get Tasha K out the way. Yes, period. Okay. Now, <clears throat> y'all know people be, you know what I don't like is when content creators go online all the time with some of them, you know, because I'm a late night owl and I just be online. I just be watching stuff. I, I be feeling like I shouldn't watch because I was like, these people don't even like me. And I'm sitting there watching them. They be talking about me. They was talking about my wash and dryer, all kind of stuff. I ain't even naming them no names, but some people, oh, shout out to Sean David Wade. You know, I like him though. But other people, they didn't call me all kind of bees and eight holes and all kind of stuff. And now all of a sudden they they all team share. It's I'm like, it's the hypocrisy for me. But I digress. Um I had to forget what I was going to talk about just that quick. Oh, what I don't like is people tiptoeing around the issue saying, oh, he didn't mean it. Oh, his apology, this and this and the third. It's like, y'all just doing this for clicks and views at this point. Y'all don't believe what we believe. Like, at the end of the day, my story hasn't changed. I've said he was trash five years ago, and I'm saying he's trash now. So don't come over here now when you feel like you need a click and a view to call him trash. And then they sit up here and say, this is another thing some of y'all creators say that really burns my biscuits. Talk about some content creators can't talk about other content creators. But since he owns Flop Soul, you know, he's on a a, a national network. Uh, now he's he's on a celebrity set. Y'all was dragging me. Y'all was dragging all kind of other people. Y'all be y'all be beefing with each other and stuff. Now all of a sudden is you got you got morals and values. <laughs> you be talking about Tasha K and Cardi B, but now you got morals and values, and you can't talk about Jugging Not Me because you scared that he gonna read you or something. Child bad. Child bad. His reads are dry just like his skin, honey. <laughs> so. I ain't gonna say no names, but you know, you could just go ahead and watch the people, honey. They got listing. You could just watch them. Any video where they talking about him, they they did it. Now moving on. Now let me go ahead and talk about another content creator. <laughs> I'm the content creator gonna talk about content creators. Okay, I'll break this, I'll break the cycle. <laughs> Call it out, okay? Use your platform for whatever you want to use your platform for. I don't have no professional courtesy. They ain't got no professional courtesy when they steal your shit. <laughs> they ain't got no professional courtesy when they steal your stories and your exclusives and don't be giving you credit. But now you y'all be talking about professional courtesy. I'm not gonna talk about junkie that even y'all anyway. Um, let's move on to uh Tasha K, okay. AKA a little boozy around here. Okay, you know, I call her a little boozy. I'm not calling her man. I'm calling her a boozer. Like she's a wino. I'm calling her boozer for booze. So I just want to get that straight. So y'all don't be like, Michelle, you be calling Tasha K a man. Now I've never called that woman a man. But that woman has had TS man hands over there dragging me. You know, yeah, I take everything personally. This me. I do this. Okay. She had TS man hands over there and Junkie Dineva trying to drag me. But now the Junkie Dineva video has disappeared. So what? Who cares? Uh, but um, yeah, she is still, you know, going through her bankruptcy. Y'all remember I talked about it. I didn't, I got a whole series. I got a whole playlist talking about Tasha K and Cardi B and her lawsuit drama. Well, no, this week, Tasha K been trying to uh, issue a settlement to request a settlement uh, with her bankruptcy. Now, a lot of people are getting this wrong. A lot of people have been reporting on this and said that she only tried to give Cardi B $220,000. And that is not true. Okay. Somebody else, I think it was the Breakfast Club, reported that she was trying to give Cardi B a total of $4 million because it's $220,000 over 20 uh, uh, each quarter for 20 quarters, which is five years. That is not true. <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is, it is a total of $222,000 spread amongst all her creditors for 20 quarters, i.e. five years, okay? While her total claims are $3.9 million, which includes uh, 3,900 of which is uh, Cardi, I mean, 3,900 of which is Cardi B and 30,000 of which is everything else. And then the, uh, her IRS, like the thing that they are splitting up, like they're, look, she's saying quarters one through four, she want to pay four thousand five hundred dollars. Quarters five through sixteen, she want to pay twelve thousand dollars. And quarters seventeen through twenty, 
the last stretch of the five years, she want to pay $15,000 per quarter. So basically, uh, look, Cardi B will only be getting 5% of her money. She won't even be getting like a, a million dollars. She's only paying $220,000 spread amongst all of the creditors. Like you can read it. You can read it yourself. Plan payments, a total of $222,000 will be paid over 20 quarters in varying quarterly payments. So the people who say it's $220,000 per quarter is incorrect. Okay. The people who are saying that she offered Cardi B $220,000 is incorrect. Okay. But you know, I digress. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I deal in receipts. I'm a blogger. I deal in receipts. Okay. You said, pay that lady. You said, how these things get to the public? Um, court documents are public. You can't seal uh, court documents. In fact, we got some more court documents. <clears throat> See, I don't want to dock nobody though. <laughs> I got some more court documents that's actually showing a subpoena. I showed that on Patreon, but I will read a little bit of it to you. Now, the subpoena that uh cardi b has issued now because you remember cardi b issued a lawsuit within the bankruptcy basically asking the judge to uh to to put her debt as um non-dischargeable since it was uh punitive right so now cardi b is actually subpoenaing all these different bank records so they examined the husband's uh, bank records and 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 um bank accounts and they told him to bring his text messages and emails and everything back to 2019 before the lawsuit even started so they want to see what you were making back then before you even thought about moving money okay so hold on so once the husband came in cardi b filed that lawsuit and basically said um yeah something ain't right <laughs> Cardi B's attorneys, by the way, Cardi B's spending a mint on attorneys and she got the best attorneys that are forensic accountants going through every little thing, every check that goes into Tasha K's husband's account because Tasha K's husband pays Tasha K. They're tracing the money. Where is it coming from? Where is it going? Who got it? Where was it deposited to? Now, I know one of my Patreon members was saying, oh, She'll never get that money because there's ways you can hide all the money. She could probably hide it after she didn't cash the check. But the thing is, they know where it's coming from, i.e. YouTube, i.e. whoever pays her. There's always a digital footprint for dollars. Always. So somebody got to pay you. If I pay you in cash, yeah, that's one thing. But nobody is paying you in cash all the time. <clears throat> In fact, if somebody pays you, then you got to go cash the check. Or somebody pays you electronically, there's a record of that. If some, if YouTube pays you, there's definitely a record for that, okay? Even if you put your YouTube account in somebody's name, it's your channel. It's your channel. You sitting there on the screen, okay? But your money going to somebody else, so yes so here's the subpoena sonny you said michelle it's popping over here yes it's always popping don't you you listen shout out to my squad y'all like this video as y'all come in here okay here look look look. i'm gonna show you this i'm gonna show you this just so y'all know i ain't lying because i have the receipts always <clears throat> open this up open this up open it with preview bam there you go all right I'm I'm not gonna dox nobody though, but I'm gonna show you this. Okay, this right here was filed eight twenty three, and Cardi B filed a whole bunch of subpoenas. Some of the subpoenas was to Tasha K's uh, tax people, so they want copies of the tax records. <clears throat> Even if she ain't paid, they want copies of her her. Uh, credit card statements, the bank statements, Discover, American Express. Oh, child, how is you paying your American Express bill? Where is that money coming from? Okay, if you got credit cards in your name, who is paying them? When you talk about forensic, this is like next level. I would like, if I was her, I wouldn't have filed bankruptcy because it felt like to me that the bankruptcy opened the door for all of this, all of these subpoenas and all of this discovery, okay? 
now hold on I, like i said i ain't trying to dox nobody because i don't know the personal information and office information and stuff in here chat uh the first subpoena was to morris legal tax okay and it got the name of the accountant on here it said you are commanded to produce at the date and time and place set forth above uh electronics electronically store information or objects and to permit inspection copying testing or sampling of the material all documents requested on the attached exhibit so um they asking for all of this stuff by friday september 22nd uh hold on i'm scrolling to see what's on the exhibit here oh it's a lot oh it's a lot Oh, they the subpoena. Hold on. All references to any person includes his or her employees, agents, ser servants, subsidiaries, parent company, affiliated company, and any other person or entity. Communication. Remember, we talked about this written communication, uh, everything, emails, all of that, electronic or similar. Child, hold on, I'm still scrolling fast. Uh, petition date is May 25th, 2023. They started with, with uh, what is this right here? Oh, this is from the bankruptcy. Debtor shall mean Latasha Kibi. Oh, no, I'm still scrolling. This thing is 59 pages long, chair. The, the attorneys need to get this and read it because I am not an attorney. I, I must say this. I am not an attorney. I just play one on the internet sometimes. So they got all the different types of files that they will accept. TIFF file, gifts files, emails, recipients, CC. Child, this is too much. Mm, hold on, hold on. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm reading this as I'm talking to y'all. Listen, so this is something that they asked for from the... Uh, the tax preparer, they said, uh, we want all filings or submissions to the Internal Revenue Service that were prepared regarding uh, Latasha Kibi for the period from 2019 to 2022. Uh, your complete file, including all documents provided, provided to you by the debtor or on behalf of the debtor, of which tax returns, amended returns, or other related tax filings or submissions to the Internal Revenue Service were repaired were prepared regarding Kiwi Studios LLC for the period 2019 through 2022. Your complete file, including documents provided to you by the debtor on behalf of the debtor, la, 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 uh, or tax filings or submissions that were prepared regarding Mona Lisa Brown LLC from the period 2019 to 2022. Ooh, they calling out the other entities. Oh, hold on. I can put this up here. Oh, I'm going to show y'all. So, oh, child, they're calling out the other entity. They got Mona Lisa Brown in here. They got Yelling Entertainment in here. They got Kiwi Studios. So, all the different companies that she was, she created to get paid through, by, uh, you know, funnel money through, they asking for all the different tax. Oh, child. Paid to attorneys are paid to read that mess. Tax and bankruptcy law is boring, but it ain't boring to me, honey. She thinks she's Donald Trump. I told y'all last time. I'm just I'm invested now. I'm like, where is the money? I'm I'm sitting there eating my popcorn. Like, where is it? Is Cardi B gonna get it? Is Tasha K gonna get away? I don't know who to root for. You know how sometimes you be rooting for the bad guy, be like, oh, I hope they don't get the money. But then sometimes you root for the party that need to win. Like I'm I'm team truth. Like I feel like Cardi deserves the money because she, you know, it is what it is. But listen. I don't know who to root for anymore. Uh, here you go. Another subpoena to who is this? This is the Bank of America. Mm -hmm. Let me see. They got all the subpoena. They're asking for a lot of the same stuff. Uh, again, all of the same companies. Uh, in addition to Tosh K, Kibi, Yellen, Mona Lisa Brown. Mm -hmm. All the different, um, all the different, um, documents oh and then they got checking the kiwi too all documents including account opening applications credit card statements correspondence uh for any and all credit card accounts in debtor's name and or husband check the kiwi's name 
including account ending in, and it's got the account numbers. Lord, they got the account numbers on here. Oh, they said any account documents, including but not limited to opening doc. And then they they said, hold on, for debtor and or husband checking the Kiwi who are authorized signers on accounts from March 2019 through petition uh, date for accounts ending in oh they, they want to know what accounts that they even offer uh, are um uh can authorize signatures to lord this is juicy you say show us <laughs> I just don't want to be in a position where I put some information out that, you know, hold on, I'm going to show you though. <laughs> I'm going to show you, hold on. That's just the end. It's the ending. There you go right there. You said check the mattress. You see that? Y'all see that? They got another one right there. They got another LLC we ain't heard of yet. Mollify LLC. Where that one come from? And they got the account number. So they know where this stuff is. Y'all be playing. They know where the stuff is. They got the account number right there. Account number ending in. Okay. Council checks for check McKeevy. And look, they got including accounts ending in. Da, 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 and da, 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 da. Authorized signers of the account. So he it ain't even got to be his account, but he's authorized signature on it. It might be his mama's account or something. This is juicy. <laughs> this is juicy. What else is in here? Who else they subpoenaing? It's about five subpoenas in here. It's like 50 pages long, child. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me scroll. Let me scroll, let me scroll some more. Who is this? Discover Financial Service. They just they subpoena Discover. <laughs> no, Michelle. I just, they subpoena Discover. I'd be so shamed to see what y'all be what I be buying on my credit card. <laughs> I'd be so ashamed. Y'all see what I'd be buying? I'd be up all night on Amazon or something. Like, you got to dis discover? Child, not the discover card, too. Mm -mm. Y'all can't see my MX bill. <laughs> Y'all can't see that. So, yeah. So, if she's not spending cash money and she's spending credit, they want to see that, too. Child, they want to see that, too. You said, I'm not your legal representative. Uh -uh, I just read your documents. You send me your documents. I will read them and I will sit here and, and squeal just like I'm squealing right now. Um, let me see what else it say. Um, blah, 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 blah. They want floppy disk, compact disk, <laughs> child zip drives, password, protected files, databases, electronic calendars, personal digital assistant, iPhones. Smartphones, tablets, iPads, proprietary software, and inactive or unused computer disk storage. Shut it on everything. Oh, this is, I'm scared. I, don't, I need to shut this down for, for, the, for the fans be looking at me. <gasps> they, they subpoena American Express, child. Not the American Express. And all of this needs to be turned in by Friday, September 22nd. But, and all of these subpoenas are signed by uh, Cardi B's attorneys, James C. Moon. Okay. That's her attorney. So if y'all got any legal questions, y'all need to call Mr. Moon, honey, over there asking about Cardi B. I'm just reading the documents. Again, I am not a legal professional. I'm just a blogger. I play a lawyer on TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Candy's movie. I'm lawyer number two. <laughs> oh, y'all saw me in the background with my glasses and my briefcase. So, um, let me see what else, what else, what else, what else. I want to, I want to go at least to the end to see if I can find anything else. And, um, yeah, that's it, child. She subpoenaed everything. She got, she got five different um entities. We got the Mollify. We heard that one before. Mollify LLC. Yelling Entertainment LLC, of course, Kibi Studios LLC, Mona Lisa Brown LLC, and all of these LLCs, I assume, are registered to either her or her husband. Ooh, so, thank y'all for the super chats. I ain't even seen y'all. I'm, I'm gonna thank y'all in the end, y'all. I'm gonna thank y'all in. The end. They want the x rays, child. They want the children's. It's 
savings account numbers. They want all the account numbers. I I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is Cardi B said bump that $220,000 uh, settlement uh, arrangement spread over five years. That ain't enough. You paying her probably like $50,000 or or she probably paying Cardi B like twenty thousand or let me see. Two hundred thousand, and then her other creditors getting twenty thousand or something like that. So, I don't know. You said I hope she doesn't try to wipe the hard drive. Even Hunter Biden got caught, and information was still tracked, even with a printed check. That's what I keep telling y'all. The money will be found, will be tracked. Like it might be gone and spent by the time they they find it, but they don't find it. They gonna find where it went, and we gonna know because you know the radar online and. Dennis Byron and me, <laughs> we gonna talk about it. maybe fuck your lady to it, and he ain't gonna have no job soon, child. He ain't gonna have no job. Hey, Vodka, I see you, friend. I see you. Moving on. Uh, shout out to Tasha K and Cardi B, honey. The the battle continues. Let's see who's gonna win. Good, evil over good. The white hats and the black hats. Oh, that's a bad. <laughs> Y'all already, y'all already think it's a racial issue. So Cardi B with the white hat on and Touch K with the black. Hat. I don't think it's a racial issue. I think it's uh, uh, the liar versus the person who was lied on. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, hit that like button if you are enjoying the stream. Now, last. <laughs>